Silicon Valley Breakdown is composed for four channels of computer-generated sound. All sounds in the piece are entirely synthetic, based on the sound of a plucked string. I was able to control a variety of characteristics, including how hard the string was plucked, and the quality of the sustain. The, the experience of doing computer music is, is somewhat different than doing instrumental music. Um, for one thing, traditionally in instrumental music there's, there's three roles that are handled by three different people. There's the role of composer, there's the role of performer, and then there's the role of the person who builds the instrument, which makes the sound. With computer music, you have, you have only one person, and, and he has to do everything, which is both an advantage and a disadvantage. The computer is completely general, so it can sound like anything. On the other hand, there's a lot of things you don't want it to sound like, so you have to spend a lot of time defining carefully the domain in which you want to work, and that's analogous to the instrument builder. Then you compose the music in a, in a, manner, a manner more or less analogous to a traditional composer, and then you have to make it sound not like a machine. And so that's the performer element. At the same time, I like the role of performer, I like the excitement of a performance situation, and I like to be able to modify and respond to the audience, modify the, the way the piece is going and respond to the audience. Um, therefore, I try to write myself apart in my pieces as much as I can. I've been exposed to music ever since I was little. Um, my father used to play the mandolin, and he in fact gave me my first mandolin and taught me some some of how to play. He he was trained in classical mandolin style, but also played a lot of Eastern European folk music and Yiddish folk music. And he's taught me a, a lot of that music. I've also um, played violin, classical violin, and became interested in in uh, bluegrass music and played in a bluegrass band for a couple of years. I'd like somebody listening to my music to be able to know who my parents were, who my grandparents were, where they came from who my next door neighbors were. And so I've, I've incorporated elements of a variety of styles into my music.